This is one more video in the channels Super Academico and Tapa Olho Azul. Now I am going to continue talking about uh, cultural industry, entertainment industry, and one of my favorite topics that's the the creation and the creativity of the Disney Corporation. And also I will talk about some of the critics about this uh, about this uh, join of companies in just one company that's I think maybe a little bit uh, dangerous a little bit uh, uh, problematic to 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 the, the the business you know and the business in, in a way and to creativity uh, before I start don't forget to subscribe the channels and uh, like the video share the video and hit the bell to get notifications okay so let's go uh, as many people know huh, Disney is a, a company that uh, was created in the 50s no sorry 50s is the, the Disney World it was created in the 30s by Walt Disney and it began just as a park for, for entertainment in, in Los Angeles, California, Anaheim, uh, Disneyland, and then it became the producer of animation movies and, and movies, then uh, live action movies. And today it, it, uh, it owns a, a lot of other companies like uh, Lucasfilm, Marvel, Pixar, and this ownership of these companies uh, makes Disney one of the greatest producers of content of entertainment content in in the world probably probably the most known company of entertainment uh, in the world that uh, provides uh, content provides uh, brands uh, products consumer products and also the teams for the parks that the, the company owns okay so uh, since since Disney uh, has uh, push you know, uh, uh, pull has pull uh, pull to, to itself the, the owner the owning of these this companies it has possibility the, the, the creation of uh, powerful franchises that are present in our reality today. Uh, first I want to talk about the the buying of Lucasfilm uh, so Disney bought Lucasfilm from George Lucas and uh, you have to understand the difference between the two companies Lucasfilm was a, a company owned by one person uh, one person only was the owner of Lucasfilm that was George Lucas so uh, being owned by one person a company has some kind of identity you know, uh, is a, a, the, the thought of one person that came and uh, that created first the, he created the company to make his his movies uh, his Star Wars movies and the other movies and there's the, the, the special effects company you know, the industrial light and magic and all this served the purpose of him as a uh, a storyteller that wanted to create something that was personal that was uh, that was valuable to himself so it carries this kind of identity the 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 money that this company made all along all over the years served to possibilitate to to, to make possible uh, that he uh, kept it kept producing his movies eh, and putting his stories to the audience so to please his need to do that once the company was sold to Disney Disney is a major company is a company with many stockholders there is not uh, just one owner there are many owners in a sense there are many stockholders probably there is a, a board some kind that 
uh, have the, the majority of stocks, but uh, it has to uh, it has to to show results for these stockholders, and then uh, it becomes more efficient in a way of getting money to produce things since it's not just one person but uh, there's always the risk that the, the lack of profits or, or less profit that was expected for one product uh, make not possible to produce more things uh, that that's uh, for instance uh, that's what happened uh, when they released the movie uh, Solo, Han Solo, eh? the Star Wars story, the Han Solo movie, and it didn't, it did not, it didn't uh, have the the expected results. It was considered some kind of a flop, eh? and because of that, they kind of stopped of doing movies for theater release and focus more in the Disney Plus products which is great for the, the people, eh? the fans that want to consume products but uh, it kind of lost uh, a little bit of his uh, beginning way with George Lucas and uh, making movies that tell some specific story eh? and on the other hand, the, 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 the new trilogy, the, the sequel trilogy, you know, the episodes 7, 8, and 9, that they didn't follow the, the story that was already planned, like planned by George Lucas. So it didn't please the fans very much. So the connection between the company, the fans of the, the, the saga, the fans of the franchise Star Wars, and the use that Disney did eh, with theme parks and products and uh, all the um, so many things, so it, they can make money for the stockholders, uh, had a, a kind of a distancing between the the, the, the initial the, the initial uh, meaning of the company to the expectation of fans so they created some kind of distance in a way but i think with the disney disney plus products uh, they they are uh, getting back some of this connection especially because many of the people uh, that work in the, the, the disney plus projects are fans are fans of the the franchise in the first place and, and it seems at least for me that uh, is in the, the distance of this of the works of these companies and the, the Disney and Lucasfilm that they 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 make possible the continuity of the creativity of the people they are involved so they have to give results to the stockholders, they have to make profits, but it seems that they, they bet that the way to do that is letting the, 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 creation, uh, the creativity, the creation people, the fans, the, the people that know the, the history, the, the history and the stories uh, do the, the projects I don't know I think that's the feeling that I have other products or the company that was acquired by Disney before uh, it was well, I think it was before uh, the, the Lucas films is the Pixar studios so uh, Pixar began many people know this story but I don't know if you do uh, Pixar started as a project in the Lucasfilm, the, the uh, kind of a technology that was created in the, the Industrial Light and Magic, the Pixar computer to, to manipulate uh, ima images in the, the computer. Right? And the people that developed it started to, to uh, want to make animation movies. And so the company was sold from George Lucas to 
the, the Steve Jobs, uh, the, the former owner at the time of, of Apple computers. And so the company developed to be an uh, animation studio. And then the company was sold, uh, was bought by Disney. That was already the, the, the studio that released the movies made by Pixar. So it became just one thing, uh, Pixar, Disney. Uh, but also, uh, similar to the feeling they have about uh, Lucas films, I think Disney gives creative control to Pixar. Of course, they probably have to pitch projects to Disney that get approved, that get some insurance that it will have the, the, the results, the, the, the return, uh, uh, the profits enough to uh, convince uh, the, the, the stockholders that they have to keep investing on them. But I, I think the, the creativity uh, is somehow kept in, in the spirit of the, the company like the others. The other is now my favorite. Uh, it's the, the Marvel. Uh, the Marvel uh, began, of course, Marvel is uh, was was and it is still it is a, a company that produces that make comic books since the 50s 40s i don't know in the 60s and uh, 1960s it became a uh, uh, why uh, worldly famous because of the creation of the of the characters that n nowadays are the main things and uh, the main the the main products of uh, Marvel Studios uh, that belongs to Disney uh, with the ideas uh, developed by Stan Lee uh, like the uh, Fantastic Four, the, the uh, Spider-Man, Avengers, uh, Iron Man, X-Men, uh, all kind of a superhero that is today's uh, most known products began created uh, by Stan Lee's and Jack Kirby, the people that were creating in comic books at the time. And they tried to make movies many times and somehow, eh, in some other way, some successful, uh, some not successful, TV shows, cartoons. And finally, in 2000, 2008, they began the Marvel Studios with the, the Iron, Man, Iron Man movie. And I don't know if that by that time Disney had a red bot. Marvel, I don't know. I really don't know. But I think once the deal was closed eh, and Marvel began to be began to to transform into this universe that we have today, and Disney supported and also got profit from it. Uh, and again. Uh, giving results to the the stockholders so uh, it became it becomes this huge universe that spans and spans because they are getting little by little almost everything in the comics and putting in the cinematic universe that uh, has movies uh, 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 streams shows first from Netflix and the the network TV like uh, Agents of Shield that are integrated with this universe and and all the Disney Plus shows uh, the Disney Plus series that are uh, there that are directly uh, linked to the cinematic universe so uh, it, it has created some 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 content in a way that hooks people to watch keep watching and talking about that's a like a, a a fun construction that that's very nice in a way because all people that like this kind of content like me can get involved can get can feel that it's involved the the recent uh success of the, the the show Ms. Marvel is an example of someone 
someone, uh, uh, the, 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 the actress, uh, the young woman, Iman Velani, that was already a fan of Marvel, a fan of the movie Marvels, the Marvel movies, and became one of the stars. And so it's a, a meta, uh, it's a meta thing. The in which uh, us, that, uh, we that are away from the producing, feel like they are, we are integrated into the process because we have like a voice, an opinion uh, as fans to the, the, the products. Uh, but uh, uh, it's not all Marvel. No, it's not all Marvel because there is always the problem of pleasing, uh, giving results to the stockholders. That's the nature of capitalism. Capitalism. <laughs> uh, so uh, 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 we'll talk about, about about Disney Plus because the Disney pl products are like uh, concentrate in Disney Plus. So the streaming platform has the Disney products, the Pixar products, the Marvel products, the Star Wars products, and Lucas Films. The National Geographic products and the star products is the Fox products. Fox, which is the other company that Disney acquired, but just the entertainment part of Fox. That's a thing to uh, call attention. And since the, the Fox was acquired by Disney, this entertainment part other car characters from Marvel was work uh, took back in the, the way they can use in the, the Marvel movies like mostly like the X-Men and the Fantastic Four they couldn't get the deal <laughs> no, no they, they got the deal with Sony to use Spider-Man but they didn't bought Sony that's more difficult I think but they made a, a arrangement where they can be like uh, sharing the the character in both universes. And in Marvel Universe, there is an Iron Man, and Sony has Iron Man too. So it's corporation things. I'll talk about in a minute. So uh, the 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 the, uh, the, the buying of Fox by Disney uh, was, was a huge deal, billions of dollars and, and I think the great danger in all these things and it's, it's great that produce content that we like, that I like like using X-Men and Fantastic Four in the Marvel Universe and so on but the problem is when you analyze crit critically is that we have so little companies owning so many brands. That's, I think, it's a problem of capitalism and in, in all. Uh, so, so the cricket critic in this video is about this, about the fact that uh, in the food industry, for example, you have uh, Coca-Cola, PepsiCo, Kraft, Nestle, P&G, Kellogg's, Johnson Johnson. Mars, Unilever, other one I don't know. And just these few companies own a lot of uh, brands. So you think there are, there are choices to be made in buying things and buying products, but it's a little bit, it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit illusion that you have these many choices. It's n not a choice when the owners are the same, uh, like cars, cars are the same thing. You have four or five companies in the world that owns uh, many brands of cars. So you think you're choosing a car uh, com uh, that has a competition between these brands of cars when you see the brands belongs to the same company. In the media industry, you have the same problem. No, first of all, uh, here this this graphic, this picture shows this the same 
information of this, but in a or more organized way, in a way that you see the divisions uh, of brands that belongs to the fewer companies. But it's the same thing, the same, the same information, just to better visualize uh, the the uh, the partition, uh, the, the the sharing, or the division of brands. Uh, throughout these all companies. But in the media and the producing of entertainment and information, uh, the, the, the production of contents that we absorb daily, uh, th there are fewer companies. So you have uh, non Comcast, Disney, that we are talking about, CBS, AT&T, News Corporation, News Corporation you, you, it is uh, it was the former owner of Fox, for instance. So they kept the news eh, of the, the news part of Fox, but they sold the entertainment part of Fox to Disney and Viacom Company. So you have so little companies producing content to everyone. I think it's, the, it's missing the company that owns I don't know, maybe it's one of this, uh, Warner, Warner Bros. It's important to, to mention Warner, Warner because in the fantasy world, uh, Warner uh, works with contents like um, DC, uh, Harry Potter, and I think this is the most known and it's 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 interesting to compare with the 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 the, the products that Disney owns because you see Marvel is like rivals I don't know it's kind of rivalry it's a illusion of rivalry actually because the success of one mostly helps the success of uh, of the other and. In the Harry Potter franchise is a huge franchise, uh, but I, I just want to mention that because the uh, I think it's missing. I don't know, maybe one of these. If you know, put in the comments. I think one of these is owner, is the owner of Warner too. So there's a uh, few companies and uh, six companies owns every content in the world mostly. Uh, if you think about. Uh, how we absorb contents of entertainment of in information. Uh, so this I wanted to bring this video. Uh, uh, I think uh, it's clear that I, I enjoy, I like very much the Disney contents, especially the Lucasfilms contents and the Marvel contents. And I am a subscriber of Disney Plus and I watch a lot but i must admit that this kind of thing is dangerous in a way that our minds are formed by these contents and there are so fewer companies doing contents so uh, to be nice that uh, the contents could be a little more very uh, very more of owners because of the the their goals and uh, can differentiate more i think i don't know well uh, i think maybe with the internet growing as it grows the mentality of more and of plurality can grow and be a rich thing to us that absorb these contents and produce also this since i'm producing a content here <laughs> funny w if you're talking about the the technology companies the same thing there are few companies and eh? Google Facebook Twitter what else there's, there's a few companies eh? and they are buying each other all the time so th this concentration of power uh, power to deliver create and deliver information and contents are I think it's dangerous so it's my opinion, you can disagree. But uh, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share 
and hit the bell for notifications. And in the description below, you can find some other things that we make. Bye-bye.